I've been testing Pen GPT for the past few weeks, and honestly, I wasn't sure what to expect from an AI-powered scanning pen. The marketing makes it sound like magic, but is it actually useful or just another gadget collecting dust? Let me be straight with you. Pen GPT is essentially a handheld scanner that connects to ChatGPT. You scan text, math problems, or even handwritten notes, and it gives you instant AI answers. It's targeting students, professionals, and anyone who deals with text regularly. The standout feature is the instant scanning capability. You literally just run this pen over any text, and within seconds, you get AI-powered explanations, translations, or solutions. No typing required. The device also works offline for basic translation, which surprised me, especially for a tool that costs around $99. What really caught my attention is how it handles math problems. Most users seem to love this feature, especially students who can scan homework questions and get step-by-step -step solutions. It's like having a tutor in your pocket, but here's where it gets interesting. It's not just for students. Business professionals are using it for quick document scanning and translation during meetings. The voice recording feature adds another layer of functionality, turning it into a digital note-taking assistant. But here's the catch, and this is important. You need a stable internet connection for most features. The offline translation is limited, and the AI responses require connectivity. Also, the accuracy depends heavily on your scanning technique. It's not foolproof. My honest take? If you're constantly dealing with text, math, or need quick translations, PenGPT actually delivers on its promise. It's not just marketing hype. The price point feels reasonable for what you get, especially compared to similar scanning devices without AI integration. However, if you're expecting it to replace your phone or laptop for research, you'll be disappointed. It's a specialized tool that excels at specific tasks. For students struggling with homework or professionals who need quick text processing, this could be a game changer. But if you're someone who rarely encounters foreign languages or complex text, you might find it unnecessary. If this helped you out, hit like and subscribe. I break down the latest and most talked about tools every week across finance, marketing, software, design, basically any niche you care about. Check out the newest review here or hit the playlist if you're still comparing. But hey, what's your take? Is this one a win or would you pass? Drop a comment. I'm always curious what real users think.